Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video just showing a tip that I learned from a good friend of mine, David Kuppel. Uh, he's an amazing drummer, drum tech, and he gave me this little hack on how to cut down microphone stands. And I just want to share it with you guys. Check it out. The tools I'll be using to cut this microphone stand are a hammer, gaff tape, and a pipe cutter. The first thing you're going to want to do when cutting the microphone stand is you're going to want to mark how much you want to take off. Um, I already actually cut one down so I just want to make it pretty much even with the other one. So what I use is the little part that I cut off. And you just want to use either the gaff tape or if you have a marker, just go ahead and mark it. So that way you make sure that you cut the right length. Okay? Once your stand is marked off at the proper length that you want to take off, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and grab your pipe cutter. So the pipe cutter that I'm using is this one. It's a cobalt pipe cutter and it is actually 1 8 of an inch to 7 8 of an inch, which is plenty for this type of stand and then also it is a metal cutting pipe cutter um, I'm gonna put the link for this specific one down below uh, if you want to get another one you can just make sure that it works on metal pipes not PVC the way that the pipe cutter works is you use the little knob on there to adjust it to open it either wider or close it in um, and I'll try to show you closer. What we want to do is line it up with our measurement right there. And then go ahead, once it's lined up, just tighten the knob to the point where it won't move anymore. Try to tighten it as tight as you can. And then once you have it tight and in place, you can go ahead and start twisting around the microphone stand. As you're turning around, if you notice, the blade will start to get loose because the blade is going deeper in. So when it does get a little loose, you're just gonna have to hold it in place and tighten that knob a little bit more so that the blade goes deeper into the pipe. If you do not do this, you're just gonna be spinning this around for hours and not seeing any results. All right, so I've been doing this for about five minutes and now the blade has actually gone into the pipe completely. So I'm just gonna turn it and it should come off. And I'm gonna keep on adjusting it as I'm turning it. Cause it's really, there you go. Just like that. Go ahead and loosen it up. And then there you go, came off. Pretty simple. It's a little bit off from my measurement, but it's not too bad. So as you can see, it's a lot shorter, which is great. Uh, but the issue that comes with cutting down microphone stands, which uh, you know, always looks a little bit weird, is as soon as you put down the other side, it just pops right out the bottom and. Uh, if that's the case, you still can't get the right positioning or you still can't get it short enough because this part will get in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this part out too. Uh, but what I'm going to do before that is if you can see this little piece on the top, it's a little plastic part. I'm just going to go ahead and use my thumbs to remove it. So you just want to kind of push both of your thumbs towards the other end like that and just making sure that you go around and it'll move it out very slowly until it just pops out completely just like that you can also if it's a little bit hard coming off with your thumbs you can try to use it with a hammer just being really careful not to 
break this piece because it keeps that top part from flying out of the stand if you raise it up too much. So just keep on little by little. It's almost there. Alright, should be able to take it out right there, just like that. And now, we can slide out this whole top part, like nothing. Look at that. Alright, so we removed that top part, and um, what I did is took the pipe cutter, adjusted it for this pipe, and then, like I said before, make sure you tighten it on really good. And then you're going to do the same thing as the other one, and this one should be a little bit easier because it's small. Um, just go ahead and go around, and then as you keep going around, you're going to want to make small adjustments to the blade by tightening it. And then it should take about three minutes, four minutes, I mean, depending on how tight you're able to get that blade. Just make sure as you're doing this that you try to stay on the same line, which can be a little bit difficult because it'll start, if you're kind of doing it crooked, it'll start spiraling either up or down. So just make sure you stay in the same, same, same line. And of course, just like that, it'll pop off. You see that? It's pretty clean cut. Again, not exactly to where I marked it, but that should work. Alright, so it's a little hard just to hammer it in because uh, for some reason this part of the tube is a little bit skinnier than the end. So what I'm going to do is just use this back part of the hammer to kind of stretch, stretch it out a little bit before I start hammering it in. might look a little bit rough this way but the good thing is that you'll be able to put this little stopper back in place to keep your microphone stand from falling apart if you over adjust it or extend it too much you can completely avoid this step too if you just don't care about it alright so once you're done using that back part of the hammer to kind of stretch it out a little bit um, it should be able to fit a little bit better. I still have to use the hammer to kind of tap it in place. Uh, but now it's in there and I'm just going to finish hammering it in. And just make sure you don't hit it super hard because it is, it's a hard plastic but it's still plastic so you don't want to break it because then all that hard work would have been for nothing. Alright, we're getting ready to reattach the top part to the bottom part and instead of trying to squeeze this in and risk damaging this whole part uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it apart from the top which would be the easy thing to do and then just slide it up through the bottom like this alright so I took everything off of the top as you can see it's just a very skinny pole we're going to put it through the bottom and it should just go in there just like that there you go it's all together so what I'm gonna do now is finish reassembling the top part and then we will show you how it looks all finished it's not a huge difference I didn't want to go you know really short with it uh, but this height will allow me to use it better and get into tighter spots and not trip over it as much um, I could have also cut the boom arm the same way which you can do that if you want to do that as well um, I did not want to do it just because of this plastic part I have no idea how to get it out or put it back on and it would have been pretty irritating to see just a cut pipe you know on one of my mic stands because right now the way we cut it is uh, you can't really tell that it's not supposed to be this height it looks like uh, like I bought it this way 
Um, hopefully this video helps you, gave you another idea how to use some old gear that you might have laying around. Um, and also, if you like this video, check out my other videos of me playing my drums. Um, if you want to see more videos of tips like this, go ahead and leave me a comment so I can uh, get to it. Alright, thank you very much.